Hey guys, how are y'all? So I am doing a tutorial. It's going to look like this eye. Um, it's just an eye tutorial using the Lorac Unzipped Palette. I picked this up during the um, Sephora VIB sale. <laughs> um, I was very iffy. You know, it's a, it's a neutral palette. And like how many neutrals do you really need? But you need it. It is absolutely gorgeous. I did this yesterday and I loved it so much. I was like, I'm going to film a tutorial. It's super easy. So let's just get started. I'm going to zoom y'all in. Boop, boop. So you can see what's going on. And I've already primed my eye using my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Sorry, I had to move y'all a little bit. Um... And I'm just going to take an E40. This is the tapered blending in the shade that I love. <laughs> really? My boys are going to be roaming around. Um, Unconditional, which is this one right here. I don't even know how to describe it. It's like a pinky, mauve -y. I don't even know. But it's gorgeous. Seriously. And I'm just going to put this all in the crease like so I am gonna bring this um, a little above the crease um, it's really more above the crease but I mean it could really go everywhere it doesn't really matter you want the most product on this outside edge like I've said before now I'm gonna go in with a MAC 217 and the shade Unspoken, just like a medium brown. And this is going to go um, like in the outside V and into the crease. It can go up a little bit, but at first I'm just going to focus it into the crease. Okay, so now that the color is in there, I'm going to turn the brush. I applied it this way. I'm going to turn the brush like this. And I'm going to really blend it out. This is where it can go up just above the crease, just a tad. And this is because I have hooded eyes. Like so. I'm going to clean all that up later. So, don't be freaked out. Um... Now I'm going to take Unbelievable and Unreal. It's these two shades right here. And I'm going to mix them and apply this to the lid. This palette really is awesome. The pigmentation, there isn't any fallout with the colors that I've tried thus far. Um, I I'm I just love it. I know this is going to be like my go-to palette for a while. I say that, but you know I force myself to like use other stuff. So, but I, I really do love it that much. Then I'm going to go back in with no additional product with the 217. And I'm going to blend. I want to make sure that when I'm blending, I'm, I'm blending more down because I don't want to bring the, the shimmery shade up into the crease very much. I want that to stay focused just on the lid. Like so. Now I'm taking good old faithful e.l.f. professional blending brush in the shade Unbridled. This one. It's like a dark, plummy, cranberry, whiny color. And this is going to go just on the very outside edge of the eyelid. Look right here. That's where I'm focusing the color. And then you can bring it in just a little bit. This color is not really going into the crease. It's just staying on the eyelid. Now I'm just pulling it in just a tad. <laughs> he's getting so big my, my youngest he's almost 10 months old and he is in the 95th percentile for weight and over the 100 percentile for um height 
I thought my first one was big, but he is definitely bigger. Okay, so then I'm going to just take that same brush that I applied to uh, for the rest of the eyelid, and I'm just going to just make sure that this is transitioned and it blends well. Like so. Now with no additional product, back to the um, just a little elf brush, I'm going to bring this into the crease just a little bit. There's no product on this, no additional product, I'm just blending. I'm going to take the large shader E60 in the shade Undercover, oh sorry, which is this white one not white it's like off white it's like an ivory color and put this underneath the brow like so and then I'm going to go back in with that original crease color unconditional on the same brush that I used before and apply just a little more product to make sure the eyes are even um a lot of the times and I'm sure this will happen after I put on my eyeliner and mascara I have to add a little bit more color, like a little more depth, like I had to do that to this side. So I'm sure I'll have to do that here, but you know, it's much easier to add to than take away. So we're just going to put on the eyeliner mascara and see what happens. I just used the same br this brush to clean up a little bit right here. That's a nice trick if you have like a white color just to clean up this eye. If you've already done your um, face makeup, under eye makeup. Let's go ahead and take the MAC 219 in the shade Unbridled, which was this dark color. I hope I didn't just blind y'all. Sun's fixing a reposition. I'm trying to hurry. Um, and I'm just going to apply this to the very outside edge of that bottom lash line. And then I'm going to take that unconditional shade. And do the uh, rest of that under eye lash line. And I'm going to go in. This is the only color that I, not, I did not, um, I didn't like the highlight in there. Like up here, I wanted more of a highlight. So I'm using Max Nylon, which is my favorite um, shadow for the highlight for the inner corner. And y'all know I like to sweep it up. Like so. Okie dokie. Yes, I did. Just say okie dokie. <coughs> really? Can y'all see? Really? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and apply my eyeliner and my mascara. And I will be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and I did my eyeliner and my mascara. I have two different mascaras on because I just filmed the um, a first impression of the L'Oreal Lash Out Butterfly. You will have to check that out. I'll have it linked below to find out if I like it, but I'm pretty sure you can tell it's pretty awesome. But um, anyway, so yeah, this is pretty much the finished look. Um, I really hope you guys love it. I highly recommend this palette. It is absolutely gorgeous. So until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Mwah. Bye guys.